Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how we can cook rice in a steel vessel. For this, this is our measuring cup. With this measuring cup, we are taking 2 cups of rice. See, 2 cups of rice, which is uh, sufficient for us for one time. And wash it with water. Wash it with plenty of water. This is, uh, this rice is priced at approximately 60 rupees in the market. So wash it very nicely twice or thrice till you can see the water clearly on rice and collect the water don't waste the water don't pour it in drainage or your sink just collect it in another vessel keep it overnight and and use it to water your plants now for these two cups of rice these are washed nicely i am using five and a half cups of water this is the amount of water we need to get the perfect rice for us you may change the water quantity according to your taste and after pouring the water keep it in keep it on stove in high flame be sure to keep it in high flame or else it will take forever for the rice to start boiling once the water boils then we can lower the lower the stout to sim or medium but we should start it with higher flame and it takes uh, the whole process takes around 30 to 40 minutes for our quantity of rice if the quantity of rice is more or less the time may change the time it takes may change so once it starts boiling be very cautious so that the stove will not be will not get dirty With this rice, this rice goes well with well with chutney or fry or sambar or anything. We usually make dal, fry and uh, chutney usually or the our menu typically changes. So once the rice starts boiling like this and the water is about to come out of the vessel, then change the flame to sim, not medium. We have to keep it in sim so that it's it it cooks properly and slowly remember it takes time it's not like the uh, electric rice cooker we use it doesn't change into more change modes or doesn't shut off automatically so we have to be very cautious while cooking in a steel vessel now be patient till the till whole of the water evaporates not some we have to make sure that whole of the water evaporates and then we need to cover the vessel with a lid if you do that before the water will come out and it will make the stove dirty or it may even turn off the stove so once the once whole of the water is evaporated then cover it with a lid now wait for another five to seven minutes depending on the quantity and the main tip lies here we have to take keep, take some water on the floor and keep the vessel on the water then makes sound of choi and your rice is ready for serving please subscribe thank you